This is my Orbea Orca 2023 team racing bike. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday the 28th of March and I've got a really exciting video today that I've been looking forward to filming for probably three or four months now, well, since I've been in France this year. So the reason why I'm so excited about this video is that I'm just about to leave the house to go and get my uh, 2023 team racing bike. Uh, it's an Obea Orca and uh, thanks to our partner Cycle de Loire, they've supplied the team with bikes for this year. So yeah, I'm just gonna take down the two hour drive down to Valette to uh, collect my bike. This is my Orbea Orca 2023 team racing bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again. State your name, big been dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in base, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away. Cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses. I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it. I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh -huh. Coming in, yeah. Flex. I just wanna win, yeah L.A. BB, who we running with, yeah Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten, 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 yeah I've had this bike for about two months now I've been both riding and racing on it So I thought I'd give you guys my opinions And tell you all about it So obviously, the frame set It's an Orbea Orca, team edition uh, in raw carbon, as they call it, in a size 55 centimeter. I went for a slightly smaller size so I could get a bit more seat post out and a longer stem. Overall, it makes the bike lighter. The group set I've got on it is a SRAM Rival ETAP 12 speed disc brake group set. And the wheels I'm running on it are the Hunt Aerodynamicist 44 millimeters. So that's the main components on it. I thought I'd go for everything and go into a bit more detail about the main things. So I'm running a Prologro Scratch, 140mm saddle on there, nice and short like a lot of them are these days. Uh, I found it really comfy. Here as you've seen is what I use to pin my uh, numbers on at races. A uh, nice little device saves not having to use cable ties and being all messy. We go towards the front of the bike. I've got a Orbea 110 millimeter stem with a set of aluminium 38 centimeters bars. And I've got a profile design bar tape and I've double wrapped it just for the racing in France because I struggle sometimes with the bumpy roads uh, and I just wanted that bit more comfort. So then the group set itself is as I said, tram rival, 12 speed. Um, I'm running a 48 chainring at the front and I'm running a 1033 cassette at the back. Uh, the bike also has a quark single sided power meter with it, which is really good. Um, gear ratios have been interesting. I found it different moving from 11 speed 5211 to a 12 speed 4810. I've certainly noticed it in the Peloton. That's got both good things and bad things to it. I'll explain later. 
Um, pedals we're running on the bike are Shimano Ortegra. Yes, Shimano pedals with a SRAM group set. The reason for that is the team on the spare bikes run Shimano pedals. So if I have a mechanical and I need to change my bike because of a puncture or something, I can easily swap onto the team bikes and have no hassle with worrying about what pedals I got. Um, so then the wheels. Wheels, as I said, are Hunt Aerodynamicists. I'm run with GP5000 tires, been riding them for years, love them. 28 at the back, 25 on the front. Bigger at the back just because you can run less pressure and get more grip. Um, and then with that, I've got 140 and 160 disc rotors. Um, then something else you might have noticed on my fork here, uh, that red thing is a bit of cut up latex inner tube that I use to hide my transponder when racing. Uh, just a bit of an aero gain, um, which is also easy to use instead of having, again having cable ties. I'm using an Elite carbon bottle cages, which are run with the Elite bottles that we use at the team. Um, and I think that is pretty much it. Nice bike, looks stealth. I'll go into my thoughts and feelings about it now. For those of you that are wondering what this free hub sounds like, I'll give you a test now. So now I'm going to give you guys my honest thoughts on the bike um, compared to my last road bike that I used for racing last year, my giant TCR. There's a lot of differences. Um, TCR was rim brake with Shimano 11 speed uh, and it's more of a climber sort of bike where I would say to be honest this is quite literally the opposite. It's a lot more aerodynamic, it's got 12 speed disc brakes, a more modern bike really. Um, and I sort of wanted to give my opinion on what I thought of some of it so I'm going to address the elephant in the room, the disc brakes. Uh, personally, for just normal riding and training, I'm still not a fan of disc brakes. I think they rub all the time for general maintenance. I'm here on my own in France. I mean, I've, there is a team mechanic, but it's a lot of hassle. If I just want to do some quick maintenance, it's a lot harder with disc brakes than it is with rim brakes. Um, like I said, they rub. It's a constant hassle when trying to move the bike around. Um, so there are my downsides. However, I think when you're a competitive racer and you're in a peloton of riders all using disc brakes, I do think that they should be used. If everyone's stopping distances are the same, it makes a big difference. I noticed that the first few races I did this year on a rim brake bike, everyone was stopping a lot quicker than me because they were all on disc brakes. So it led to a lot more crashes and uh, risky areas. But I mean, for your sort of general weekend warrior rider who rides in small groups or rides on their own. I don't really see a reason for disc brakes. I just think it's the way the market is going. So that's my opinion on that. Um, the gears with the 12 speed, I do agree. You get more ratio with it, but it's just the weird tram front chainering is what I'd change as well. I just think 48 isn't big enough. I know you can get bigger, but that's that. Um, overall, with the Hunt wheels, it is a really fast bike. On the flat, um, you certainly notice it. Obviously, with all these extras, there is that weight penalty. Um, so it's not as light as my bike it was last year. But just on a flat road and on rolling road, you notice a big difference. And I feel like I'm going a lot faster for less watts. And at the end of the day, that's the main thing that I want out of it. Um, again, like the first bike where all hidden cables at the front, no cables at the back. Obviously it's wireless gearing. So there's no cables. The only cables on the bike are for the brakes. Um, so that's my main sort of differences that I've noticed. Uh, both the frame and wheels have a nice sharpness to them. Um, accelerating is really good. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my review of this bike and what I've been using and gonna use for the rest of the season. Uh, it's a really nice bike. Uh, a lot of changes to my last one. Um, 
but yeah overall an awesome bike so i hope you guys have liked this video uh and seen this insight into this race bike uh and i'd like to hear your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below let me know what you think let me know what you think of disc brakes uh and i will see you guys in the next one